Unilever. Soups, soaps, and almost everything in between. Unilever is the blend of two separate companies. One blend is from the Dutch going concern Unilever NV and the other blend is from the British going concern Unilever PLC. Unilever NV ordinary shares are listed on the Euronex Amsterdam and the New York Stock Exchanges while Unilever PLC ordinary shares are listed on the London and the New York Stock Exchanges. Though these are two separate companies, the two are run as a single endeavor called Unilever. Now it's been this way since 1929 when the British soap maker Lever and the Dutch margarine maker Uni they came together. Unity is incorporated via the Articles of Association together with agreements between the Dutch and the Anglo entities. Their agreements along with the Articles of Association are known as the Foundation Agreements. Now these Foundation Agreements allow Unilever, and I quote, to achieve unity of management, operations, shareholders' rights, purpose, and mission. And that's a quote as per the 2018 annual report. Now, all this unity is a tall order for any entity. The catch lies in the fact that the two companies are run as one for all the parties concerned. That requires trust. It requires the ability to encompass the well-being of the Unilever group along with the well-being of oneself. It requires the promotion of the common good and that sometimes requires sacrifice and compromise somewhere from someone. Running the two companies as one is similar to a marriage. Done right, it's the greatest of God's blessings. Done wrong, it becomes the worst nightmare imaginable and it may even end in a messy divorce. Now, the challenge for Unilever and V, among the usual other business challenges, is how to keep the operation of two separate entities synchronized, profitable, and unified. The Unilever Group has been together since 1929. And so far, the companies and the people involved with the running of the companies have made things work. Since the 1930s, the Unilever Group has successfully evolved to become a very large, dual-headed, fast-moving consumer goods company. A fast-moving consumer goods company is just that, a company that specializes in the selling of goods uh, that are at a relatively low cost and which move off the grocer's shelves rather quickly, i.e. the product sells. This dual-headed juggernaut is within the top five fast-moving consumer good companies worldwide. I have owned Unilever shares since 2008 and 
wanted to learn a little more about the company by reading the 2018 annual report. This is where I found out some of the intricacies of the union between the London-based and the Rotterdam-based units. The annual report is just the surface of a deeper ocean of information requiring several re-readings and this is due to the sheer size and breadth of the company. An example of the complexity yet simplicity of the company and its annual report can be found in the Unilever logo. From a distance it looks like a giant U but on close inspection it is comprised of 25 separate and distinct images. All the individual images work together to create one unified picture. The uppercase U for Unilever. So too it is with information contained in the annual report. Simple yet complex. The Unilever Group has about 155,000 employees, around 400 household brands, and the group's products touch the lives of some 2.5 billion people every day. At the very least, there are Dutch, English, and American business and reporting requirements that need to be met along with a myriad of other factors yet to be discovered with subsequent readings. For now, at the very surface of analysis, the Unilever company can be compared to a marriage. A marriage between Uni and Lever. The company pays regular dividends, and this helps pay my electric bill. I am not suggesting you run out and buy Unilever shares. All I present is my understanding of the 2018 annual report, and an introduction to the company. There is more to come on this company, more with a focus towards the numbers. But in the meantime, I'll continue to buy their mayonnaise. It goes rather well with sandwiches. To learn more about the company, information can be found from the source, the website, their website at unilever.com. It's comprehensive and detailed. Some other sources of information are the financial websites such as Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg and other regulatory websites, example being sec.gov and there is always wikipedia.org. Investing is like planting. When you plant, you have a mixture, the right mixture of water, sun, soil, and toil. And the results give wonder, beauty, and with time, a harvest. So too, it is the same with investing in well-run companies situated in stable and entrepreneur embracing economies. Until next time, have a good night and thank you.